Hi. Woo, that was a little high. That's kind of funny. Anyways, George here. What I want to show you today is how to fill up a portable liquid oxygen unit from a reservoir or a stationary liquid oxygen unit. So here's my portable. This sucker that I showed you in the last video, I'm going to fill this portable from this stationary reservoir. Now remember, once there's liquid oxygen inside this, this cannot be tipped. All right. Right now I can tip it. There's nothing in it. How do I know there's nothing in it? I just simply held onto the strap closest to the scale and it showed me it's empty. All right. So some of the things you're going to need besides a reservoir that has liquid oxygen inside of it is your portable, but also your PPE. So some of the stuff you're going to need for PPE, first of all, protect your hands, have some gloves. Now some places will make you wear or should, will suggest you wear a face shield, a full face, face shield. But if you don't have that, make sure you have at least safety glasses. If you're wearing short sleeves, and a lot of you will be because you're wearing scrubs, make sure you have a coat or something that will protect your arm should there be any sputtering of the liquid oxygen from the container. So I've got my sleeves protected. Now it might be kind of loud, so should have some kind of ear protection as well. Uh, Earplugs or the muffs work well also. So let's put this all on. Now one of the things that's going to happen is when I connect the portable to that reservoir and I open up that filling lever, it's going to start making a sound. And it's going to take probably around 60 to 90 seconds for the device to full fill. Now once it starts getting close to being completely full, that is the portable is getting close to being full, you'll start seeing a lot of vaporization coming out of the bottom of this plastic part right over here. And there's also a sound change. Now as soon as you hear that sound change, that's when the portable is full. You should shut the fill valve off and then detach the portable from the stationary. So I'll repeat that. Attach it securely, the portable securely to the reservoir. Once it's secured, open the fill valve so it starts to fill. Listen for the sound. Listen for the change in sound. When you see the vaporization really start to occur and the sound change occur, it means that portable is full. Close the fill valve off. Press the button to help detach the portable from the reservoir place the, the uh, portable in a safe position in an approved basket or bin for holding it onto or against a solid surface so it doesn't over topple over because once it's full it can't be it can't be tipped right so let's put our safety stuff on so I'm going to open up my earplugs put the ear protection in now I don't have a full face shield here so I'm going to use safety glasses. These go right over top of my glasses. And then to protect my nose, you should always make sure that you're wearing a clown nose. And I've got my gloves on. Here's my gloves. Hey, hey. just shooting a video right now. <laughs> so let's fill the container up. So bottom, no liquid oxygen inside of it. Note the unique shape. It's going to fit onto the portable in a unique way. So I'm going to bring the camera in here a bit so you can see it better. We'll tilt that down. Now let's make this work. So we're going to take the portable, line it up with the stationary, and push down. I'm going to pull this lever out right over here. See the lever go. You hear that sound. Wait for it. Wait for it. It's almost done. Get into the final end. Final here. Can't really see the vaporization yet. Ah. 
actually I'm just kidding, you don't really need this clown nose, so uh, you don't really have to wear it. Especially if you have a full face mask on, you don't need to wear it. You hear the sound team? That means you're close. See the vaporization start? You see that? Lever off, fill valve off, find that button right here. Just in here, push, detach. That's all there is to it. It's filled appropriately. Now, do we have liquid inside here? Let's check our contents. Remember how you do that with that skate with the strap here? Well, on the strap, you see the indicator says that it's full, completely full. This is a full portable. Now you take your portable, place it somewhere safe, so it's not going to get knocked over. And the portable's full until it's ready to be used by the patient or placed in the appropriate room for the patient or healthcare provider. You can take your safety PPE stuff off and you're good to go. Whew. And that's how you fill a portable from that there reservoir. <laughs> Remember, it's really cold, so any frosted pieces, don't touch them. When you're done filling, place the towel over top like so, and then wipe it next time you're ready to use it. Make sure everything's dry before you contact it too, and I should have said that at the beginning. Shouldn't have any kind of moisture or liquid on the portable or on the reservoir when you're getting ready to connect it up. More people are coming in here, so I gotta say George out, so have a great day. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know. Take care.